I'm going to start out with the primer. I've already lotioned my face. And I'm so excited for two things. <clears throat> this brow kit that is going to serve a whole new purpose. My first and foremost, I love the uh, this. And this is the Miracle Blur. Looks like that. I kind of just warm it up, melt it down, and and it kind of mattifies while it's filling in the pores. Ugh. I can't wait to correct underneath my eyes. It's my favorite thing to do now. So I'm going to go ahead and get a sip of coffee. I had this Starbucks mug for about 20, over 20 years, so. so I'm still very much into this, and um, I'm going to turn the fan on. I hate turning the fan on because it's so noisy, but let's do this. Just take a fluffy breath. Kind of put that in there. You could even put it on the brush for that matter. That's easier to go like that. And that looks like a lot, but I cover my whole eye with it, like especially in here. And the lid while I'm at it. So this is orange corrector and it covers dark circles and any type of pigmentation really on your skin so sometimes I go right there with it and I used to have really bad pigmentation right there so at a creature of habit sometimes I go right there I still like to put a little bit of the corrector around my mouth also I like to take this lately and this is a Mally sponge and I like to spray it with setting powder I mean, with um, with some setting spray and usually the e.l.f. I've already done that, so I just wet up a corner of it. Then I take my MAC um, concealer and I just squirt it on here like that. This is just for underneath my eyes, not anywhere else. I'm going to put foundation everywhere else. So I'm really um, into just taking care of around the dark circles I Spent a couple of days I went to work without any type of makeup on other than um, concealer. But I am struggling with what mascara to use. I was at Ulta the other day and I really wanted the um, Benefits Roller Lash Mascara. I'm going to be setting under my eyes with this. So, And this is the Airspun Powder. has a little puff there. Sometimes I just go like that. Just pat it on. I'm getting used to the scent of it. It just has a perfumey scent. And I'm starting to be okay with it. So, and I'm just going to set it with that. And I know that's important to set this stuff. And I may not be using any mascara today because... I just really, oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to buy a MAC mascara soon. But I'm going to save up for it. I'm not going to just go out and buy it. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but I still just don't want to go buck wild this year on makeup and stuff. Because I do have enough. Or I should just look at my stash and see what I have. And I'm going to be putting this foundation on today. And this is the Dream Cushion. It's like this.
So I like to use this um, BH Cosmetics sponge and I go ahead and just put it in there and go ahead and start dabbing it over my face. And this is, I guess you can call this like a no makeup makeup look. I'm going to look real funny because I'm not putting on mascara today. Because my eyelashes, they seem to be falling out from either the Sonia Kasha. That's the one I've been wearing the latest. So I'm going to have to blame it on that one. So I just kind of build this up as much as I want. Between the two, I really like the way it picks up on this sponge and it's so odd because it's from a sponge but I like the way that feels this is cool cooling because it's a wet squeezed out sponge so it feels very cool so but the fun part for me is that um, the way I sort of contour with this eyebrow kit, not really contour, but I'm really under cover covering up my gray hairs. I'll show you my best friend right now. I just like to go in and make sure I really set the set everything underneath the eyes. And I like this little brush that I got from Elf on purpose for this for this purpose. But once I'm done setting it, setting underneath my eyes, and that's just with this still. So I like using this brush, and it's a real techniques brush. And um, I washed it last night, so it kind of feels damp. So I don't really want to use it today. So I'm going to use a different brush, but. Once again, this is the, um, this, and this was just a brow kit, but I use it to contour with instead. So what I do is take some brush. I'm going to use this Real Techniques stippling brush. This is just between covering up my um, dark circles and my gray hair. I just love it. So I've been fooling around with different eyeshadows and stuff that I had so I didn't have to buy any type of hair product just trying to find out what works and this kind of did two in one job see that and then I just go ahead and contour with it also dark brown but the main thing is and then I'll go ahead and put some on my lid too but like I said look at that look at that guys I really like this I might have to take it easy on this just so that I can preserve it so that's that and like I said, I'm really not going to be wearing any um, mascara today or any liner. I guess I'm going to put some blush on my eyelids as usual. Boy, talk about a lazy way to put makeup on, huh? So this is my breakfast. A handful of goldfish and some coffee with creamer but no sugar so everything in moderation so the newfound love also is the elf and it's a double-ended I guess that's for the highlight and this is the brow found this in my stash and I really like this for covering up my grays really works out 
in the brows and just bring my brows back to life. So I'm taking care of all this gray hair this morning with uh, makeup. And I just lightly go over till it just barely skims over the hair. So um, it picks up on the gray hair. And because I'm losing my tails on my brows, I go ahead and kind of gently add them back. Keep going until I feel like I can see them, which I can. So I'm really loving this. I don't can't even tell you how long I had that. And once again, I'm not going to be um, putting on anything on my eyes as far as um, mascara or eyeliner. Alrighty, thank you so much for tuning in again, and basically these are just some tips on getting rid of or disguising the gray hair for the day. You have to use other things if you want a more permanent solution, but I'm okay with the daily solution of just getting the gray hair blended in, and that goes for my hairline and my eyebrows.